children are not born codependent. Rather, they learn to be codependent as they desperately seek to get their needs met in dysfunctional environments. Thus, as codependents mature and gain power they didn't have as a child, they can learn to become recovering codependents. Here are 11 essential skills codependents must learn in order to live a healthier and more fulfilling life. Skill number one. Codependents must learn to honor and respect their needs, feelings, opinions, likes, and dislikes, which is no easy task after years of being people pleasers riddled with shame. Learning to love oneself is not just a decision, but something that grows through a gradual process of improving self-care skills, which can be scary at first, but which eventually will lead to healthy self-esteem. I frequently tell clients that the most important relationship they will change in therapy and recovery is their relationship with themselves by transforming shame and toxic guilt into self-love. Skill number two, codependents must learn to identify their feelings, needs, opinions, likes, and dislikes, which also is no easy task after repressing them, denying them, and disconnecting from them since childhood. Thus, instead of brushing aside the workings of their internal world, they must learn to slow down and pay attention to how they are feeling, what they need, what they value, and what they like and don't like. Skills they would have learned in childhood if they'd been raised in a more nurturing environment. Skill number three, codependents must learn to recognize and overcome the fear, shame, and automatic messages from childhood which have told them that their needs and feelings are wrong bad or a burden to others, and thus have kept them locked in emotional isolation. In other words, they must learn to allow trusted others to see into their internal world of needs, feelings, and opinions in order to free themselves from the loneliness of being a people-pleasing codependent. Skill number four, codependents must learn to skillfully ask for what they want from others rather than continuing to create dysfunctional relationship through chronic people-pleasing and suppressing of their own needs. All healthy relationships are built on meeting the needs of both persons, something codependents never learned in childhood because of the dysfunction that surrounded them. Skill number five, codependents must learn to skillfully say no to what they don't like, don't want, or find unacceptable which is one of the greatest challenges because saying no violates their rigid people-pleasing, confrontation-avoiding creed as to how to gain love and acceptance. In other words, they must learn to set boundaries, which is a necessary skill in all healthy relationships, and they must no longer allow unhealthy persons to abuse, use, or manipulate them. Skill number six. Codependents must learn how to negotiate with others because all healthy relationships are created through negotiation rather than by people-pleasing and avoiding confrontation, which only leads to anxiety, depression, stress, resentment, and feeling like a failure. Skill number seven. Codependents must learn what they are and are not responsible for in their relationships because childhood dysfunction programmed them to feel over-responsible for everyone else while ignoring their own needs. Thus, they must learn to let others be responsible for themselves so they can learn to focus on their own growth, healing, and needs. Skill number eight. Codependents must learn to differentiate between what they can and cannot control because they develop much magical thinking in childhood, believing they could fix others, make them happy, and make relationships work all by themselves, none of which are true. No wonder codependents are so stressed and feel like failures, believing they can control things that are impossible to control. Thus, they must stop obsessing on fixing others and learn to keep the focus on their own growth, healing, and needs. Skill number nine, codependents must learn to deal with their pain directly rather than continuing to distract themselves from it by obsessing on the needs and problems of others. They must break the pattern of compulsive people pleasing and learn to acknowledge their pain and take responsibility for healing it. This is a critical part of recovery where therapy, codependents anonymous and Al-Anon can help them learn to deal with childhood wounds and current stressors in healthy and effective ways. Skill number 10. 
Codependents must learn to accept help, compliments, and gifts from others rather than being compulsive people pleasers who act as if they have no needs or feelings. Healthy relationships are interdependent rather than codependent, where both people give and both people receive. Codependents are great at giving, but in recovery they must learn to receive. Skill number 11. Codependents must learn to identify and appreciate their strengths, which is what healthy people do, rather than chronically beating up on themselves for being imperfect, which is a recipe for unhappiness. And the truth is, codependents have many strengths, such as being caring, empathic, generous, loyal, and responsible. And when they can add skillful self-care to these strengths, well, they can become powerful, healthy, and loving influences for all who interact with them. In fact, they make some of the best therapists, nurses, and teachers. Okay, so these are the 11 skills codependents must learn in recovery for a healthier life. Of course, they won't be learned all at once by just watching this video. It will take time, persistence, mindfulness, practice, and patience to master these skills for healthy self-care. Your motto should become one of my favorite slogans from Al-Anon, progress, not perfection. So be patient with yourself, kind to yourself, and nurturing to yourself as you traverse the learning curve of turning shame and codependency into self-love and self-care. I wish you the best on your journey to a more meaningful life. If you'd like help improving your self-care skills, then visit my website, serenityonlinetherapy.com, to learn more about the online services I provide. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and then subscribe to my channel to hear more from me. And finally, keep paying attention to your life. Until next time. <music>